Hi everyone. Let's understand uh, how we can actually log in with uh, Azure's AD service principle. So most of the times uh, you are not being added as a user into Active Directory to perform some operations. So when you wanted to perform any operations like uh, reading uh, what are the uh, or monitoring any aspects or deployment activities into specific subscription, we are not allowed to give access and uh, only the way uh, the users are being given access to that uh, is through a service principle. Now, how can we create a service principle and how can we log in to the service principle using PowerShell? And that's what we are, we are looking at right now. Uh, and let's go and do that. So uh, any access can ha only will happen to a tenant or a subscription uh, through Active Directory. So first we have to create the identity and here we are not creating any users as such or uh, uh, we are not uh, giving them any specific administrator roles. Only thing we go back and uh, we go into Active Directory and we click on uh, app registrations and we can create a new uh, registration um, but in your organization by default they will already have uh, an azure ad app registration uh, service principle and you have to just log in with that sometimes that service principle credentials will be there in the uh, the application id and uh, uh, the uh, the secret of that or a certificate of that will be stored in the azure key vault of some other subscription and uh, from that you have to retrieve all those details and everything uh, but let's see how and uh, how it actually works and everything so i'll create an uh, more an application saying monitor or perform admin activities admin activity as an app and i'm going to click on register and it is leading out to this one in case if you wanted to look for that you can go into app registrations and you can uh, you will find whatever the uh, applications which are being registered here and if you have created anything you can see in the world applications so just created this one now here i'm gonna go and create a secret this one i'm going to keep it only for today And don't forget to copy the secret. If you are creating it, you have to copy this uh, secret. And similarly, you have to copy and go into overview. You will find application ID. And we need tenant. We can find this application ID and tenant whenever we visit. But once secret has been created, you will not be uh, the secret will not be exposed after some seconds. So you will lose that and uh, you will not be seeing any more this value or you can't copy the value also. So within them, some one hour like that or 10 minutes, you have to copy this secret and keep it with yourself. And uh, so let me store this one. I'll say this as secret. And I'll keep it in a text. And similarly, I'll mention this as app ID. and i will store the i'll mention this as tenant id to log into azure the commands which we actually will follow is connect hyphen is uh, hyphen is account so let me use that i'll ask for online help and there we go So we can connect to this uh, app ID uh, with application ID and tenant. And we have to mention hyphen credential. So there are examples how to do that. And if you see, this is how we are going to do it. But here, uh, before we doing this, uh, what has to be done mm, is we also have to uh, secure the password and everything. So I'll show you how that has to be done. It is just going here and first I have to convert this secret uh, as a secure string and then I have to pass it using this one. So I'll copy this 
and uh, for, so we are going to uh, use the credential object ps credential object the, it's an ob uh, ps credential object is uh, one which will have username and password and uh, the username at this point of time login is the application id itself which is app id and uh, secure password is nothing but the secret so before i pass this uh, one i have to first and uh, convert into a secure string so how will i do that so convert to secure string and then i have to mention secret as plain text and force so this is good so and i'm going to pass this app id here so this entire this credentials will be as a uh, this one will be as a secure string and it will be stored as a credential and then I have to mention while I'm using connect hyphen is account when I'm providing uh, logging with service principle I have to specifically mention this that's how Azure will get to know and look for the service principle and you are uh, with to which tenant you are trying to log in so that one you have to mention so the tenant ID is nothing but which uh, the active directory you can either copy it from the uh, app ID or you can even search in the view which app ID uh, tenant ID or which tenant ID you have wanted to access so also this app should be having access to create anything so I'll go here uh, to subscriptions and by default your organization would be giving an access to the uh, application id which they're creating but if you are creating one you should uh, uh, ensure that you are uh, giving a role to it so here i'm going to mention the service principle the service principle is uh, perform admin activity and i select it and i assign the permission so i'm assigning uh, to the service principal uh, which is app registration a contributor access to the subscription now once this is done i'll go back here and i'll start logging in so let me just run this commands here and then i'm passing it as a secure string so if you see stack your string right now this will be a secure string and this one passing it as a credential object so now if we try credential you will see the username which is nothing but the app id and uh, this secret is actually in the secure string now i'll pass this as connect hyphen az account hyphen service principle tenant id hyphen credential and i'm giving the credential details so i should be able to log in into the subscription now if i actually ask for which subscription i am in uh, sorry uh, which uh, get hyphen az uh, context gives me which currently in which account i'm logged in and which subscription i'm logged in uh, and this is the one so if I wanted to get the list of resource groups and everything I can actually because I just have uh, the access of contributor access to the subscription I can actually get the list and everything so that's how you log in into uh, an account uh, using uh, service principle thank you